Hello, Tim Sullivan here with Flux Pumps today to talk about Flux Sanitary Pumps. To begin, we're going to talk about the impeller, the impeller design. This uh, pump comes in uh, different lengths. Uh, this is a 27 inch. Uh, we also make them in a 39 inch version and a 47 inch version for a tote. All of the motors attach uh, as is the case with our other pumps. Position the motor over the top of the tube, rotate the union nut. We have air motors and electric motors that attach in the same way. Now all of these pumps come with an inch and a half tri-clamp and these are designed for, for quick teardown. Now what's unique about this uh, 3A pump is that it's electro polished and then it's hand polished to a 4RA surface finish. So they are designed for a quick teardown and I'll do a little bit of one here. Remove the foot piece, the impeller, top pull out, and you can see on the tabletop uh, the rest of the rest of the components. So it's very easy to to clean and re and reassemble. Now we have a similar pump. It's a non 3A, but it's virtually the same in appearance, except it's not hand polished. It's electro polished to a 30 RA that does exceed the uh, dairy standard. Now another version is the 430, and the 430 is a, is a top pullout design. And you can see this is a very short version, and it's available with a tri-clamp, inch and a half tri-clamp. It's also uh, approved for flammables, has a grounding lug. And on the inlet, we see a two inch tri-clamp. So this tells you this pump can be used externally mounted to come out of the bottom of a, of a toad or a tank. Next, we're talking about the Flux uh, High Viscosity Pump. It's a progressive cavity design. It's comprised of a rotor, which is a rotating piece. It's a single helix, and that turns within a matching double helix. We call it the stator or stationary piece. When they're put together, the rotor will rotate. It forms sealed cavities, and the product will convey from one end to the other. It'll handle shear sensitive fluids, particles in suspension, uh, very viscous fluids up to 100,000 centipoise. Now we make, um, uh, by the way, it, uh, it's located down at this end of the pump. We make uh, many different designs. We have a 3A sanitary pump. We have a, a, a non-3A sanitary for a little less money. Uh, we make a GS version. And this one, uh, the motors attach similar to the other motors by rotating the union nut. Same with the electric motors. And over here we have the S version. This is a direct drive without the planetary gearbox. In this case, we can mount um, a larger air motor to the pump, or we can put a three-phase motor or a gear motor on this pump. It allows us to handle much higher viscosities, uh, 100,000 centipoise and perhaps higher. But these motors come with a speed control, and with this we uh, assure that the unit does not run over 950 RPM. Now, we offer these uh, with different stators. In this case, um, this stator design, so the pump is just slightly off the bottom of the vessel, and the stator, the, the Teflon piece, just inserts, and it's a replaceable piece. We also make these um, in a bigger diameter. You can see the comparison here. This is our 54 millimeter and the Teflon piece inserts, or we have options for a, um, a elastomer stator. This happens to be a food grade, and that inserts in the same, in a similar manner. We also offer Viton as well. Okay, these pumps uh, are designed for, uh, for quick disassembly and cleaning. There you see the, uh, the stator housing with the, uh, the actual PTFE stator. And this would be the actual rotor right here. Now this further tears down by uh, separating the rotor from the dry shaft and the rotor from the top of the pump. And there's a mechanical seal up at the top. And this is a gearbox that allows the, uh, the pump to run at a lower speed. So these, these motors run 10,000 RPM 
This planetary gearbox is a 10 to 1 turndown, so the rotor and state the rotors operate at about uh, 1,000 RPM. In addition, we ha we have um, some uh, other options. For example, uh, um, the pump can be furnished with a tri clamp on the inlet that allows this pump to be mounted externally. Now it can mount horizontally or vertically. Okay, next we're talking about the Flux High Viscosity Industrial Pump. And this comes again in various lengths, uh, up to 80 plus inches, and, and also uh, some short ones as well. Um, typically the pumps come with a hose connection on the discharge, but we have other options. We can put thread on a, an NPT. We can thread on a tri-clamp, inch and a half or two inch. And we can also cut off these threads and weld on a tri-clamp. This version is the planetary gear. And we also have the direct drive version in the 555 uh, series. The okay, motor's attached in the same fashion. And we also have um, instances where the, uh, the, uh, the drum will come with a baggy liner. And in this case, the, uh, the stator uh, is inserted into this component and prevents the baggy liner from being sucked into the pump inlet. These pumps come also with the, uh, the Teflon insert and rubber, also NBR, food grade, or by time. Now, these are uh, positive displacement pumps. So you cannot pump against a closed valve. So we, we offer as an option a uh, bypass valve and that would attach directly to the discharge of the pump. And then in this case, uh, you would have a flexible hose that would come uh, off the bottom back into the drum. So when, when the pump, when the valve is closed on the discharge, the, the product bypasses back into the drum. This comes in brass or 316 stainless steel. Now this particular version, um, it comes uh, with a tri-clamp on the inlet. So you can see um, that this can be uh, inserted into a mounting bracket similar to this. And it becomes a nice, uh, nice portable unit as well. The teardown is uh, also very simple. And we have uh, the pullout. You can see we have a heavy duty dry shaft. It's called the Carden shaft. And this is all easy to clean as well. So with this, this pump on industrial applications, we can pump adhesives, inks, epoxies, resins, polymers, all different kinds of product. Uh, the planetary gear version, we rate up to 50,000 centipoise and the direct drive up to 100,000 and beyond. Thank you.